we're in Logandale, Nevada. There's a little section of whoops here that turns out to be a great little test track for the uh, for the pre runner. We're gonna just uh, run it in Kurt's brand new 2011 JK. And we're gonna drive it through in stock trim and show you uh, how the vehicle handles its stock. And uh, we're gonna go from there. We'll be back with a pre runner kit on this in another week and demonstrate what we can do. The goal here is to drive it as hard as you can without breaking anything. <laughs> Whoa, it doesn't take much. How fast are we going? About 11 miles an hour. And uh, we're fully bottoming the front out, uh, the bottom, the, bo the back of bottom any time that we get it airborne. So we're, we're driving it very careful. We want to demonstrate that even though the JK has a nice ride on the street, nice ride on the trail, that uh, limited travel, uh, limited spring rate, the softer spring rate um, is going to hamper it in this style of driving. And when we come back with our new kit, we want to be able to show you the difference in the performance level of what we can do to this JK with a uh, pre-runner kit on it. Back in Logandale, Nevada. It's been 10 short days since we were down here with the JK in its stock condition. We've installed the brand new pre-runner kit on the uh, 2011 JK. We're going to take it out here and show you the performance difference between a stock JK and our new pre-runner. That is amazing. I just have to even ride in here to even believe that. Okay, these first couple are huge. Well, I'll just eat those up. It really helps to have some travel uh, built into a suspension. And then with the speed bumps, instead of having something that it solid stops the suspension on, it really softens up the hit to the vehicle. We are hauling. We went from 10 miles an hour to 50. And I honestly <laughs> believe it's easier on the vehicle.